How to create liquid morph effect in Blender. Select the bottle and add Vertex Weight Proximity modifier. For this modifier, we need Vertex Group and Target Object. Select the bottle, open Object Data Properties, and create Vertex Group. Then get into Edit Mode, select the All Faces and click Assign in Object Data Properties. Now get back in Object Mode and select the Vertex Group in Vertex Weight Proximity modifier. For the target object, add an empty scale it down and position it on the upper part of the bottle. Now select the bottle and get into Weight Paint Mode, then in the Vertex Weight Proximity modifier, select Empty as a target object. Change the proximity mode from Object to Geometry. We're also going to change our values, the highest value set to 0 and lowest value set to 0 0.3. Now add a displacement modifier. Change the coordinate settings from local to object. Then in the object tab, select the same empty which we used in vertex weight proximity modifier. Set the strength value to 7 and mid-level value to 0 0.2. Click on this to see the texture tab. Now, select the cloud texture for noise surface. Set the depth value to 1 and we did not need to much details. Set texture size to 0.2. Now, we will add a subdivision modifier. Add a simple deform modifier to add a little more motion in the mesh. Set the deformation angle to 720 degrees and set to Y axis. Now we move ahead for texturing part. Open the Shader Editor tab, change the shader node from Object to World and add a HDRI for lighting. Get back into Object Shader node. First add a principal BSDF shader. Set the roughness to 0 and transmission to 1. Now set the IOR value to 1.3. Then set the color whatever you like. Now we have Bottle Shader and Liquid Shader. Add a Mix Shader node and attach both shaders. Now how to make a transition from glass to water. For this we use Vertex Weight Proximity Modifier and Geometry Node. Select the bottle and add Geometry Node Modifier. Create new Geometry Node. Now add a Capture Attribute Node. Plug the value into Capture Attribute. Plug the attribute into Group Output. In the Geometry node, Properties click on this and select the Vertex group. And here we're going to name our attribute Weight. Now back into Shader Editor and add Attribute Node, then copy-paste Attribute Name here. Now plug the Attribute Color into Mix Shader Factor. We'll use the Color Ramp node to give us more control over effect. Add keyframe on empty and render it. Check the final result.